This is what I want you to do. Go. Oops, four did it again. <laughs> they sent us an email that told us we're not getting it. Something like that. Right, anyway. <laughs> You're not being serious, are you? Yes. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah, say. No. Just say. Oops, four did it again. <laughs> no, but I want you to do that. <laughs> Seriously, do no, it. No, no, no. Come on. Let's do it again. No. Let's do it like, uh, let's do it like, um, what's that, like a boy band? But we'll do it like in sync, like synchronized. Oops, four <laughs> did it again. <laughs> now, there's a lot of stuff going on with Brady Spears right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start this off. Let me Welcome sure. to another. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to another. Mid. <laughs> <Zippity> do. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go and we're gonna say something like. Here, get on this side of me instead. Oh, you like you like this side? Okay. Well, my ponytail's on this side, so my ears don't look like an elf. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Say, Welcome to another mom <laughs> with <laughs> That's what you sound like. Let's see. Right. Welcome to another mom <laughs> with three garage episode. Oops. Zip it, dip it, dip it. Alright. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, oops, four did it again. No. Alright, welcome to another mom with three garage episode. And we have some more information for you, cause oops, Ford did it again. We got an email today, <laughs> again. This is the third email that we've received in two weeks, less than two weeks. Four. Um, so if you didn't watch yesterday's episode, uh, I'll recap it really quick. First date was August the 16th. Then we got an email that said uh, they moved it up to August the 9th. Then the day after we got an email that said that they're moving it back to October the 6th. And then that was yesterday. And then today we got an email that said uh, that we will know in early October when the production is going to be able to start. So that said, I think all those dates are washed out now. Our last October 6th uh, build date is, is now gone. Um, and we, we knew that. I think everybody knew that. We said it in yesterday's episode as well that we knew that it would get moved back and it probably would move back again. So I'm just gonna say that. So it looks like I know what I'm talking about with this Bronco thing, but I don't think anybody knows what they're talking about. So uh, obviously this stems from the hardtop issue, the Wabasco, Wabasto hardtop company that makes you know sunroofs and hardtops for a lot of different brands, including the Jeep Wrangler. Um, they just hurried too fast with not enough resources, not enough people, and the hardtops came out bad. They came out with poor quality. And now people who have those are reporting uh, delaminations. They're reporting that the, the structure on the inside is actually coming out. Uh, there are vehicles sitting at the plants that actually have a bad top written on the glass uh, in marker. Uh, so obviously this is a big deal so they have shut down bronco production from what we can tell and um if you have a har if you have a bronco now with a hardtop i guess we're waiting on production until those folks get their hardtops so um they're not going to be producing any more broncos until that time so our dream of hitting the color change in colorado i think has just now gone here's the problem here's the problem is that you know, getting it in the middle of the summer, you have summer trips. Getting it in the beginning of fall, we hunt in Colorado, our elk hunting trips, we can take it elk hunting. Okay, so at that point, we still have that. Past September, now you get into the fall leaf change, so we still have that. Past that, you don't ha we don't have anything in Colorado at that point. Um, you can still four-wheel and stuff like that, yeah, but it starts snowing up in, up in the... Uh, just, just outside of here, it starts snowing in late October, early November. Uh, and the, a lot of the roads start to close and the passes start to close and things start to become a little bit more difficult to access. And so now we're basically, it, once we take delivery, we're, we're basically going to just kind of hold on to it uh, until the spring when we can really 
really get out and use it for what it's used for. Um, so I, I think we're kind of, you, you've seen a lot of our snow videos, so we like to drive cars through like <laughs> blizzards and stuff. Everything. Yeah, I think we did, we did the Raptor video, we did the Audi video. Um, and um, so I guess maybe that's what we'll do with the Bronco. We don't know yet, but we're still excited about it. Don't get us wrong. Um, the fact that they're still holding on to this 21 designation for the Bronco, uh, it bothers me a little bit. And then tell me if this is a rational thought, okay? So they're holding on to the 21 designation for these Broncos, I think, just because to make them special. So like the 21 Bronco, only a handful will have been made, you know, first editions and, and those who were lucky enough to have one built early on an early reservation. Um, so there's not going to be that many of them out there. Um, so maybe that will make them special. Uh, as far as I see it, as soon as we get our 21 Bronco, the 22 start to be produced. So literally we go into a brand new model year with a one year old vehicle, regardless of when it was produced. Right. It's a 21. So as I can see our depreciation, literally, like you hear about, you drive off the lot and you lose $10,000 or whatever, you lose 20%. I honestly think that's the deal. Um, now, Webasto is saying that they're gonna be building another plant in 2022, potentially, uh, to kind of catch up to all of those, and that won't affect uh, early 2022 deliveries, but it will affect the Bronco going forward. Um, so at that point, there'll be a lot more Broncos. Uh, maybe even the reservations will get filled, and then now you can actually go to a dealer and buy one at regular price. Um, and then our 21 at that point, which is what, maybe two or three years away, uh, is a dinosaur, it's not collectible, <laughs> and it's worth virtually nothing compared to a new one that you can buy that has all the problems fixed. So uh, that's the only issue that we're having with this and we're still trying to work our way through it. We're still super excited about it. And I think that uh, that in the end, this will all work out. You know what, let me show you something. All right, so we have a gallon of Wimbledon White. So that is for this guy right here, our 74 Bronco. But what if when we got that Bronco, the new one, what if we painted the top Wimbledon white and then did some accents around the car? So our Bronco is Velocity Blue, and I don't know, maybe maybe there is one out there with a Velocity Blue and a white top, but I mean, I painted this truck in the garage here. Why not paint a hard top in the garage with the Wimbledon white? And then maybe we would have like a, you know. Uh, unique. A unique, a unique. One of a kind. Uh, one of a kind until somebody else does it. Somebody else may have already done it. I, I saw some uh, cactus gray with a white top, or I saw yeah. one cactus gray with a white top. It looked really good. So anyway, I've got the paint, so maybe we'll do that. Uh, it, can't, it couldn't hurt it. I mean, maybe we could get one with a bad top and paint it, and then if it didn't work, we'd just get a new top. So that would work too. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll try to do that. We're also going to take our Raptor. Uh, up to our Ford dealer and uh, kind of get a trade-in value on it, see what they would trade us for it. There's an interesting story behind that Raptor too, so uh, we'll see if maybe we can get a trade-in value of what we paid for it two years ago because the used market is so tough right now. I don't know There's what it's going to look like. Cars. Not a lot of you, yeah, and they're, they're buying up used cars um, at a premium, uh, so buyers are getting a premium out of, out of the trade-in. So. Uh, now, would they do that with a locked-in Bronco because they know you're not going to just like walk out if if uh, they don't give you a good trade-in? Anyway, we're going to find out. So we're going to find that out. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get to see that. We're going to try to do that next week uh, just to kind of get a rough idea of whether we're going to trade it in or whether we're going to keep it. So, so stay tuned for that. Also, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we did a video and we said best comment will get a uh, one of the, our Ford production sticker that they sent us as a, sorry we've delayed on your Bronco <laughs> sticker. sticker. Yeah, uh, we gave that to a subscriber. He'll be getting the sticker and a hat here pretty soon. Uh, but there were a couple of other comments in there that really were hard to choose from. So I'm gonna send them our new sticker, which is this sticker right here. We're gonna message you guys uh, from the last video uh, that we did the sticker giveaway, because uh, I, I wanna at least get you this one. And then also, uh, we're going to pick one or two uh, comments off of this video as well and send that sticker as well. And if you decide you want to uh, purchase that sticker, then just hit our website up, mile3garage.com, and you can get them there. They're not very expensive. And thank you very much for subscribing and following our channel.
Okay, I guess that's it. That's a wrap from Mile Point Through Garage. Subscribe and check out our website. Subscribe right, right there. Yeah, hit, hit the like button if this is something that brought you any kind of information. Or, or if you, you just, just like Mandy's like pretty face. Or you just like listening to this talk. Yeah, we do a lot of this ranting. We just do most of it not in front of the camera. So, <laughs> thanks guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.